Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to talk about the idea of parameter estimation. And to start off, we are going to define uh, what is parameter and statistic. Okay, uh, basically, if you can recall what you have seen in chapter 1, which is the idea of inferential statistics, where it is basically all about drawing conclusions or making inferences based on the samples taken from the target population. So now um, the keyword here is uh, sample and population. Okay, so, um, so here we have um, population and uh, we are going to take a subset of that so we are going to work with a sample now um, with regards to these two terms here population and sample we have another two definitions here that you should be familiar with which is the first one here is parameter where it is basically a quantity that describes the numerical values of the population uh, for example, if you are able to um, obtain, if you are able to obtain, let's say you are able to obtain all the uh, subjects in this population and if you calculate the mean of that, so this is, um, this is represented normally as, as mu, so mu here represents the mean of a population and that is an example of parameter so similarly if let's say you are able to use all the subjects in the population and then for example you calculate the standard deviation of that so it becomes um, known as sigma so sigma here is usually uh, represents the standard deviation of a population now let's look at the the second part here which is the idea of statistic basically it describes the numerical quantities of the sample uh, for example here if you let's say um, this is your sample and you manage to get uh, all the subjects in the sample here you use all the information from the sample and you calculate the mean from that sample so the mean from that sample is going to be called uh, x bar so see it has a different notation than mu mu represents the mean of the population whereas x bar here represents the mean from the sample so therefore this x bar here or the mean from the sample here is known as statistic okay because uh, the calculation comes from the sample now Another example is that let's say you use the information from the sample here to calculate the standard deviation. So that standard deviation from your sample here will be given a different symbol than sigma. So sigma here is the standard deviation of a population. Whereas S here represents the standard deviation from the sample. So therefore S is an example of statistic. Whereas sigma here is an example of parameter okay so that is the difference or the definition of parameter and statistic one here is regard is um, uh, with respect to population and another one here is uh, with respect to the sample uh, taken from that defined population now some other useful statistics are the median the range and the interquartile range of course there are a lot more uh, other statistics other statistics but these are uh, some of you know common useful statistics okay so um therefore what is estimation so estimation is the uh, process of estimating the value of a parameter so in a lot of cases here 
um, parameter is always a question mark it is unknown and so you want to know the value of a parameter so in this case maybe you want to know what's the value of mu which is the mean of a population uh, therefore okay since you are interested to know the characteristics of the population so characteristics are example um, the mean or the variance or the standard deviation for example okay so characteristics of the population are known as parameter and uh, in this case let's say you are interested in knowing the population mean but then you only have a sample in hand so uh, you have to use the sample to make educated guess about the parameter for example if uh, you can actually calculate the mean of that sample and then you can conclude that um, what you want to find here which is mu mu is equal to x bar okay so mu is what you are looking for what you want to find so mu is the parameter that you're looking for and you use the result of of the sample which is you calculate the mean of that sample and you guess that the value of mu must be equal to x bar so that is basically the idea of estimation um, now there are two types of estimation so the first one here is point estimation and interval estimation now the name itself is quite explanatory for example point estimation here is represented by one point or one single number uh, whereas interval estimation is represented by a range of of numbers and naturally uh, the accuracy of estimation will depend on the sample collected and therefore it is always important that the sample obtained is a is a random sample that is also a good representative of the target population all right i think uh, that's all for now thank you very much for watching